Louise Minchin, 53, has revealed her husband, David Minchin's, words were ringing in her ear just before she made the decision to leave BBC Breakfast. David had warned the star you'll know when it's over. Last September, she presented the show for the final time alongside her co-host Dan Walker. It was, she insists, a decision completely unconnected to her recent dramatic stalking experience. Louise said, the main reason was the hours. There's an assumption you get used to them but I never got used to getting up at 3. 45 a.m. and it wasn't good for me. I loved the role but for years I lived in a cycle of tiredness, having to be incredibly regimented and organized about everything from my social life and bedtime to what I ate. Also, it was approaching my 20th anniversary there and I felt it had come to a natural end. My husband had always said, you'll know when it's over, and I did. I wanted to leave while I still loved the job. It was time for me to say goodbye and get some sleep, the host told You magazine. The TV presenter showed off her rebel behavior recently, as she shared a snap of her clock on Instagram at 23.13 p.m. and pointed out she was still awake. Usually, Louise would be in bed long before that time, as she would need to get a good night's sleep in order to wake up for her daily 3. 45 a.m. alarm. However, now she has quit BBC Breakfast, the star is able to be more rebellious and stay up late. Since leaving BBC Breakfast, Louise has been a contestant on Emma Celebrity. Get Me Out of Here, and fronted a very personal documentary about stalking for ITV after she was subjected to a terrifying campaign of stalking from a man who is now behind bars. She joined Dan and her replacement, Sally Nugent, in the BBC studio last week to talk about HRT, hormone replacement therapy, after a shortage of the treatment sparked concern. Louise announced her return on Twitter in the early hours, telling her followers, Good morning, I am on my way to at breakfast to talk about the hashtag HR shortages, have you had issues getting supplies and how does that make you feel? Once in the studio, Louise talked about the effect going through menopause had on her, before she could get HRT and opened up about an issue at work that she'd kept hidden at the time. Don't miss, she told Dan and Sally, saying, for me. It had a physical impact, I had heart palpitations, I had tinnitus, I had all sorts of things. And I'm just going to give you one example of the real impact at work and I kinda feel nervous again, as I never told this to anyone at the time. I remember the brain fog is very real. It was very real for me and I remember sitting where you are Sally and it makes me nervous to tell you. I was interviewing the then Chancellor, George Osborne, and he was outside a JCB factory, so a very important interview on this lovely program, lots of you watching and I couldn't say the letters JCB. Louise added, my brains just went into this extraordinary. And I just came off that day thinking, my gosh, what is going on? So these are very real problems, that was my problem at work and other people in different kinds of work have similar issues, 